All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just roll back to a clean slate over here. So if you guys still had your layers over here, you'd see there's a, tra a trash can icon. You'd go ahead, click on that and delete it. And let's start from the beginning. I'm going to be showing you how we can actually layer these diff different filters on top of each other to get some really interesting results. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add a layer and let's just call this test. We won't be using the area feature in this. I'm just showing you how we can lay the filters on top of each other. Let's go ahead and add a filter and I'm going to go to Canyon and I'm going to select the Canyon sand covered. So automatically it adds that filter on here that looks pretty cool just by default. All right, so I'm going to add another filter and this time I'm going to go to general and apply flatten. This is actually a really nice filter to use within your scenes because it's going to control the overall height. You can see if I increase the strength over here, we can go right down to a flat, completely flat default plane. Uh, but this is going to control the overall height uh, of these filters on your, on your terrain as well. So a really useful filter that I use actually quite a lot. You can see already we have quite a deserted um, terrain over here. I'm going to add one more filter, which is going to be under Erosion. Now, Erosion has a lot of cool stuff over here. I'm going to use the Erosion Deep, right, which basically digs into uh, this terrain. Uh, right now, this effect is really extreme, so I'm going to bring down the strength over here. And the reason why mine is running a little bit slow like that is because under base, here by my precision, it's on half a meter. If I brought it up to something like maybe two meters, just for the purpose of coming up with ideas it'll just work a lot quicker so maybe on this terrain I want these little cracks whatever this erosion to be visible and you can see how this has been layered on top of each other which is so awesome this is why I love this filters feature and if I want to hide one of the filters I can just I click on this checkbox over here and then it will be hidden all right so let's see what we can come up with over here so this canyon sand covered Maybe the overall strength, I want to decrease it a little bit. The flatten, I think, is fine. And I remember, like I mentioned earlier, how we can start customizing the terrain and coming up with our own shapes. If I go back to base, go to edit shape, and as long as my precision is quite low, just for performance sake, I can start modifying this with all of these filters applied to it, right? And you can see it's doing everything in real time but it's doing it with all of the filters being applied to it as well. So now I can start modifying this and coming up with some of some unique shapes or ideas by modifying the basic shape over here and it's doing it with all of those filters. So this would just be the basics uh, of showing you how to basically modify your own custom shapes and layering these filters on top of each other. So maybe this sand, uh, this uh, canyon sand covered, maybe the sharpness is a bit too much, too extreme for me. Maybe I want to get rid of it a bit. Maybe the erosion I want to bring up a little bit. And you can see you're coming up with a completely different terrain now. And remember, if I go back to base and the seed, like I mentioned right in the beginning, we can get endless variations of this terrain with all of those filters being applied to it, which which I think is really, really awesome. So this is just the basics of layering those filters on top of each other. So we can, we can delete the entire layer, which will delete all the filters with it. Or we can delete individual layers as well by clicking on this icon. And each one of these filters, you can see over there, they have their own unique properties. So it's just a matter of trying different filters playing around with the different sliders and seeing what you can come up with. Right, so this would be the basics of just layering these filters on top of each other. So let's maybe add one more and see what we can come up with here. Um, let's see, let's see, swirl. Let's add a swirl in here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, maybe let's increase the swirl strength. So this, this looks insane. It's almost like a, a tornado island with all of these different filters applied to it. Uh, but you can see the power of layering filters on top of each other. You can come up with some really, really, really interesting terrain. And then if I wanted to see this a lot better, I'd go back to base, put this back on half a meter so I can see this in 4K and just see the details a little bit better. 
But you see, you see what I mean? We can come up with these really interesting looking terrains just by layering filters on top of each other.